I'm a single mom, and I hate cooking dinner for two kids. I'm tired, and I don't have a lot of inspiration at the end of the day. So the call of the frozen pizza is strong some days. So in my kitchen, I have a make it again list. Whenever I make something, I'll say to the boys, so, make it again? And if they say yes, we put it on the list. And then I have a little bit of inspiration to go to for the next week's meal planning. As an educator, I've been asking myself, how many of our lessons would get on the make it again list? Carol Ann Tomlinson talks about three different kinds of students. She compares them to plates of food that are being served up. There's the students who are going to eat everything that's put in front of them, the ones who will do it anyway. There's sometimes the kids who say, will this be on the test? And then there's the students who half-heartedly poke at what's been served. They might eat some of it, but they'd be happiest never to see that meal again. It might be the same thing that's being served in most of their classes. And then there's the ones who will simply push the plate away. We can't change who we serve, but we can change how we serve them. This is Finn. He's 13, and he falls somewhere between the students who half-heartedly poke and the ones who push the plate away. And I've watched as his love of learning and a light of curiosity has begun to fade over the past few years as he tries to swallow what he's being served. The message that he's taking away is, I'm just not good at school, when really it's the system that can reconsider how to serve him. So what's the magic in the make it again list? Well, there's room for creativity. I'm not just serving up the same five meals every week. I'm changing it up, I'm putting new things on the table, and trying to broaden my kids' horizons with a range of experiences. And there's choice. Tacos is the favorite meal at our house because there's so many different things on the, pl on the table that they can choose from. Everybody's might look different, and it's all in the construct of the taco shell. There's feedback. I'm listening to what my kids tell me about what they like, what they don't like, what works for them, and making changes based on what they tell me. And there's room for them to add things to the list that they might like me to try and make. And maybe one day, they'll actually cook it with me. My son came to me in the kitchen a couple weeks ago and said, Mom, I want you to teach me how to make all the things on the Make It Again list. Because one day when I leave, I want to make all those dinners for myself. So what recipes do we have that serve all our students, especially the ones who push the plate away? What's on your make it again list? Thank you. <laughs>